the YouTube Dan Ottawa here, the best third slash fourth tier Pokemon Go battler in the world. And before I start with a ragtag team of Pokemon here for the Halloween Cup, I want to give out two shout outs. Uh, so the first is, as you've probably seen the logo over the past couple weeks, uh, Chubbolito, who is a member of the community, uh, part of the Discord and everything, he messaged me out of the blue and said, I made this logo for you. And it's sick. This is a really, really nice logo. I wanted to try. It's something that you can actually see from the like the small thumbnail. So it's really great, and I really appreciate. And he's actually making a banner for me too. And just like I didn't even ask for it, and he doesn't want anything in return. So I really appreciate that. And then yesterday, as you probably saw, a way better thumbnail, and that's because for the PVP tournament, Purple Kyogre is in it. Uh, and I asked him, like, how do you do your thumbnails? And he's like, I'll just put a tutorial on my channel so you can learn how to do it. So I learned how to do it for that. So that one looks a lot better yesterday. So hopefully I can keep those up going forward. Uh, so for those of you who haven't subscribed to Purple Kyogre yet or anyone else in the PvP tournament, go check them out. Like, first of all, go check out his and Tho's battles. Like, from their perspective, like, the battle, the the mind games. I can't wait to do my video by explaining how, like, my thought process. I, I haven't battled yet, anyone yet, but... I'm excited to do those videos, so go check them out. Go give them a subscribe, uh, and let's talk about this team. So, Malamar, uh, Leopold, Le no, not Leopold, Le 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 maybe it's Leop Leopard, Leopard, uh, and Beedrill. Uh, basically, I started with Malamar because I saw it a couple times. Having the foul play and superpower is a nice combo there. And then I was like, okay, I need something to to beat. Because uh, I, I I tried it with one and I went up against like an Azu. So I'm like, okay, I need something to beat the Azu. So I put in Beedrill, their poison user. And I'm like, okay, I got a poison user and I got like a dark. I need a charmer. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I ran this before. Even though it's even though it's a dark Pokemon, it has charm on it. So I use that. It just basically confuses people. You're gonna see a couple times when I come in with it and start charming against the dark, and it takes them like two or three times to realize like what is actually happening. So it's kind of fun. Is the team good? Eh, I probably wouldn't run with it just because you have like double weaknesses to to fairy in the front. You have double weakness to bug in the front. You have um, the charms like non-stab charms from a dark aren't great it's super glassy i still have one and you're gonna see it like come through a lot not a lot but a few times in these games but probably would not um say it's the best one to use so malamar here and this is one of the reasons i ran this on the lead actually and you're gonna see probably tomorrow's team too why i'm running just stuff on lead because nita queens are everywhere everyone no one's trying to use spice in my opinion everyone's just using what they have which is fine like no building up Nita queens are everywhere. So I use this because Psycho Cuts are super effective. Foul plays are going to add up, and it only takes 5 and 5. So you're going to get to the second move um, just as they're getting to it, and you're going to win CMP here. So you are going to grab a shield. And now, because I stuck one through there, I'm probably just going to shield back and either grab a second shield or take switch. So nice coverage here. And then if you run up against a dark, you have the super power for coverage as well. So that's why I like Malamar. Nice on lead. Good take. Good switch take there. Sableye, and here we go. I'm gonna come in with a dark Pokemon, but they're not gonna be ready. So one, two, three. This took them three charms till they realize what's going on. Uh oh, Armbreon comes in. That's not gonna be good. So I just do a ton of chip damage and then come in here thinking like my win condition is basically just saving that so I'm able to charm down. So I'll take the foul play, that's fine. Uh, maybe I'll even let this go because I can take another one. I can get the X Scissor off, which do some chip damage here, because that this will be super effective on dark. So chip it here. I'll go for the full farm down, force them to throw, because if they don't throw, it's just charm down all the way. So running double dark here in the back. Unlucky for them, I have a charmer here. I just throw the dark pulse just to do grab the last shield, even though I don't think I need it, because I think I can just charm down from here. And they need to throw a return. Return or hitting me is the only way that they're going to win this matchup. They throw a Shadow Sneak. Okay. Uh, yep, that is not purified. <laughs> that is not a purified Sableye. So get the win. Good start. 
it was one of these where so Malamar in the lead here had to come in Beedrill right away because it's my only answer. They were really slow on the exit there because I really don't have an answer for that because I have two dark in the front, right? So hit the drill run here. Um, I had a move, so I think that if I shield, I can grab one shield back. And I know with like Wigglytuff and two darks, I don't need the shields, right? I need it. I need to get shields down on my opponent because I have no chance to to do anything against that. So I get one there. I may actually just try and shield and go for the super aggressive farm down here to come out with a bunch of energy to throw at whatever comes in here. So I'm going for the super aggressive farm down. Get it. Again, I have I'm loaded with energy. They have like no shields left. And it's a knit a queen. So this is nice because I can throw this drill run. And I'm gonna come in right away with Malamar because Wigglytuff is half normal, which means these superpowers are gonna be doing neutral. So I'm able to go back to back here to take this out, which is nice. And now I'm assuming two times lower, the Nidoqueen Queen is easily gonna farm me down here. Uh, so now I can either come in my beetle is pretty low, so I gotta come in here. And this is the problem. Now, there's way too many poisons. And like if you're gonna run a charmer, you probably wanna run something that actually gets stabbed. Because like these non-stab charms against a poison are doing absolutely nothing. And I'm glassy, so back to back here are gonna take me out. Problem is they did not build up. So they went back to back without building up, which means I get to the drill run next to take this out. I think for the win. Yeah, super effective for the win. So if the, if they had just like realized I only have charm and I can't do anything and they just like farmed up a bit more, they would have won that. So Wormadam, not trash. Bug ground. I don't think I've ever played this bug ground before. <laughs> I always play the steel. So get this foul playoff. And that's why getting these foul, yes, lots of leg, like I mentioned the other day. Um, I'm getting error messages. I just did a couple battles for uh one of the pogo raid leagues i'm in i'm getting the um like an error at the end of each game it still allows you to battle but it's just a weird error message so i i think they're coming through with a bunch of bug fixes soon so we'll see hopefully that comes soon malamar only takes like five to get to these superpower file plays psycho cuts so charges extremely fast if you never used it skunk tanks comes in um i'm building up a bunch they're gonna hit me here uh, I don't think it's going to take me out because it's not a shadow and is a crunch. So that's only neutral because I'm half psychic, half dark. So get the super power off. So good 50% damage. They do farm me down, but guess what? Here I come. They're poison and dark. So I'm coming in here heading for neutral. Could be the sludge. Um, but if that's fine, I can just poison jab down. It is a sludge and this is going to one shot for sure. Oh, almost one shots. Super, super glassy. Poison jab down. What's in the back? Go lurk, which is half ground, half uh, ghost. So the go so ghost is resisting these poison jabs. I have back to back draw runs. I don't think there's a point of baiting. So throw the one draw run. They shield. I'm gonna throw the second draw run here. This needs to take it out, or else I'm going to lose this match because they are definitely almost out of move. Takes it to the red, not good enough. Take me out. So tough there. Um, yeah, so Leopard, Leopard, I don't think I would. Uh, I ran it multiple times now just because I ran it for the one tournament. And so I just wanted to use it. Get my money, get, get my dust worth. <laughs> so Nita Queen on the lead here. We've seen this before. Although this one, I think they either snuck and moved through or something, because I remember being lower than normal and thinking I either need to shield or I'm gonna go down here. So I do get, okay, no, so I still get it off in time, which means they're gonna need to shield or else I'm gonna take them out. Oh, maybe they just farm all the way down here or farm up. Yeah, they farm up right to one right before and that's, yeah, I can't shield it just in case because then I still need one more to get to the move. So good counting on their part. Come in with Beedrill and they switch to Azu which is a weird switch in with a poison jab beedrill. So I'll throw that. Um, I may ch I think I try and farm down if I remember, but it does not go all the way. So I think I throw an X scissor just to get this out of here. 
yeah, I think they're just getting to the move. So if they want to throw out, they got a shield, or else I'm just going to do a little bit of chip damage here. So get the chip damage, take them out. Now comes the Nita Queen. Throw the drill run. I think they shield, if I remember this, because I was like, okay. And then I switch here, because I'm like, what do you have in the back that you don't want to see it? And it's a Sableye, which is a weird... But now Sableye is running into a charm. And I can shield this. It is a return. This one is purified. Charm it down. They're going to have to throw here. They do throw. Uh, I think it needs to be an Earth Power. So I'm going to. Oh, it is an Earth Power. So goodbye. But at this rate, I can now just poison jab down. So my team, I haven't, I've only used it in. Frost last ex exactly. I'm not using Sableye, but ooh, Sableye safe swap hit with the charm again. Rough, nowhere to go. Is this one where the Frost last doesn't shield either? I do shield up in case it was a return. It is not. Um, Knit a Queen comes in, so I hit them with the maybe the Knit a Queen doesn't shield, so I hit him with the Stab Dark Pulse and takes it to the red, almost takes it out. Go for the full farm down. They were trying to farm down. This game is basically over. Frostlass comes in. It's not over yet. Actually, quite honestly, it's not over yet. But I think they quit not knowing my back Pokemon yet. Which is, I mean, Frostlass is a pretty good Pokemon. And it will be my lead tomorrow as well. Because, like I mentioned here, Nita Queens everywhere. So Frostlass is a nice answer as a ghost to resist the poison. So I will be trying that out tomorrow. I played one game with it and did well i mean i won the one game so we'll see how the rest of those go and then i'll showcase that maybe on saturday you know a bunch of people have submitted battles i need to try and go through i've got two more days here before i'm driving all day saturday so i'm going to try to get ahead on videos which means i need to try and do a so this will go up, what day is this? This will go up Friday, right? Because yesterday's video was the triple shadow. This one is going up today. Hopefully the frost house goes up tomorrow. Uh, I'll have to check videos to see if I have anything for Sunday and Monday. And then Tuesday, uh, as I mentioned before, is going to be the accessible teams, accessible, accessible PVP Pokemon. Wednesday, little cup rankings. Thursday morning is the pick six or pick eight as we or show eight pick three strategies and how you do those tournaments for those of you who don't really understand how to do them and then Thursday at 11 will be my battle against R2 and then I think that's it that I have now oh I want to like I know a bunch of you have submitted great league videos in great league it's a little cup and great league so I could try and get advanced, but again, I have basically 48 hours here to try and do like six videos while work is absolutely nuts, plus packing. I could try and shoot a couple at night, like deep in the night, like 10, 11 o'clock. So we'll see. Yeah. Let me know if you have any Pokemon you're using that are fun. I know a bunch of you left comments on my um team video kind of leg i don't know how many wing attacks got through there yes i don't know let me see if i can have it open um let me just open my video right now to see what everyone is running a lot of people also noticed that there is a lot of poison in this meta which is not surprising nita queens are everywhere mostly nita queens handful of quillfish aridos yep those are everywhere. Someone used Umbreon Eskav. Dragalge is a nice solid team. Yeah, I, I like that team actually because Umbreon is pretty thick for this league. Eskav with all the darks and Dragalge as a poison to deal with all the other poisons while hitting with the Dragon Tail. Trevenant, Shadow Drapion, and Shadow Nidoqueen. Yeah, Shadow Drapion, Shadow Nidoqueens are everywhere. Trevenant has a little less play just because like of all the all the um, darks in this league 
Someone's trying Crustal and said that did not work. Yeah, Crustal, Crustal, I've said before, is tough to get to work in a lot of cases. Uh, Dedene, a couple people have said they run Dedene, which is nice, right? Because you have like Mandibuzzes um, and Darks. So you have a nice combo there. Uh, Alfie went with Scrafty, Tentacruel, and Scizor, Shadow Scizor. So that's a nice little spicy team. Uh, dark with two things to resist charmers in the back, as on as on point. Um, someone's using Shadow Milewell, Shadow Nidoqueen, and Zwilus. Zwilus so crutch, so fletch in matches. Yeah, I haven't used that Zwilus yet. There aren't a ton of fighters. Like there is Toxicroak. Uh, but there's not a ton of like fighters in this. So Zwilus. As long as you stay away from the fighters and your dragon and dark, so you still have to stay away from the um, the fairies as well. Otherwise, it does the dragon breast do add up. Um, yeah. Mandibuzz, Granville, Shadow Net Queen. Yeah, so a lot of people are using. Uh, fairly common Pokemon, right? There's not not going to be a lot of unique-ish Pokemon right now. Like you've seen these battles here, like Golbats and Nidoqueens and Drapions and stuff like that. It's it's fairly common what you're going to run into in this league. So I tried to charm down, do not get it. I shield up, and I think there are back-to-back -back moves here and take me out here. Yeah, back to back. Mud bomb, sludge bomb. Takes me out for the win. So good game. That's my last video. That's my last one. Oh, the goal. I almost had took out the goal bat, but it had a little bit left. Takes me out. So good games. Um, yeah, so that's the schedule. That's what people are running. That's what I'm running. Let me know if you have anything else. Uh, like I said, by the time this goes up, I'm already going to be like, is this going to Friday? So I'll probably have most of my videos shot in advance. Maybe I'll do like one or two more on Friday in the, for uh, the rest of the week. But yeah, uh, that is it. Thank you for watching. I uh, appreciate the thumbs up and those comments. And I will see you guys in the next one.